demonstrates on using Open Daylight SDN controller to manage a set of open flow switch. And on my system MacBook Air, I have two virtual machines installed. VM1, which is a use which, uh, Open Daylight controller installed on Ubuntu. And I have a second virtual machine too, which I'm, I'm using Mininet network emulator to create a set of virtual switch as well as virtual host. And this is the virtual machine one that I have a open daylight install. And I have the second virtual machine all right, that I've installed with Mininet system. I will tell Net or SSH into the mini Net right. and I'm going to create a set of virtual switch as well as virtual host. Okay. Okay. And um there are a set of commands which you can create a mini net system with remote controller which I'm going to use the uh, open daylight controller it ports 6623 and you can create a few different topology I'm going to use a linear switches that means I have uh, two or three switches that I can connect together all right consecutively and each with a virtual switch a virtual host connected to the switch and I'm going to create two switch in the network. All right. As you can see, I have a H1, H2, the host, S1, S2, there's a switch. Okay, and how does this switch and host are being connected? Okay, let's take a look at the network. Okay, I have the host one connect to port Ethernet to the switch one Ethernet one. I have the host two Ethernet zero connect to switch number two internet one and to the switch I have the switch one internet two connect to switch two internet two all right and this is how the network looks like all right uh, without the, uh, the the third switch created all right and to see what's the IP assigned to the host all right so this on hold and to check out if I can ping from host 1 to host 2 alright no I can't alright so there's no commands assigned to the switch to allow the packets flow to send across to each to one another okay so I need the open flow controller okay, to do its work alright Okay, this is open flow. Oh, I have a set of uh, system. The nodes are right, being populated into my uh, open daylight controller. I'm going to change the name all right, to switch number 2 for this node 2. All right. Okay. And this one, I will change to switch number one. All right. Okay. And there's no flow install. All right. Accept the switches. Okay. And there'll be a virtual host connected to this switch. Okay. Let me install the flow. All right. First, you need to create a flow from H1 to H2. It will move across from switch1 to switch2. Alright, so H1 to switch2. Alright, and this will be executed on the switch number one. Port for the host connector is Ethernet1. Okay, set to any Ethernet type and send the port, the action which is the output ports to Ethernet 2. Install flow, right, 
and when the flow reach to switch number two, one, two, who's two? All right, and this will be executed on the switch number two port sent from two Ethernet two Ethernet type and we. Alright, as you can see, there are various uh, filter options, attributes you can define okay, on the flow. Alright, back to the host 2. Install flow. Now I need to also create the commands for the, the, other, the other direction. Right, install flow from host 2 to switch number 1. Let's go on the switch to all right internet one and you will output to port internet two all right define the action and install the flow followed by the last instruction for the switch number one which is the packet will be coming from switch two to host one install on switch number one all right and coming from internet two okay copy to send to ports output ports of internet one all right so install flow so if you have multiple switches in between all right uh, where the packet need to send across, need to issue the instruction right from the controller to the open flow switch. And let's take a look at the flow right now. Can I ping? Yes, I can ping across from H1 to H2 as well as from H2 to H1. All right, that's it. And let's take a look at the open flow dashboard again. All right, to see. Okay, so for every packet that reach the open flow switch, all right, the instruction is to uh, allow the packet to go through. That's the action, and you, at the same time, you do a packet count. All right. All right, that's a quick demo on how we could issue the instructions from the open flow controller which I'm using open daylight and a set of virtual networks running powered by mini nets thank you for watching bye